Hi, Carl here for Pro VTV. I'm at the Kinefinity stand at NAB 2018 talking to Jiwa. I thought what we'd do is describe a little bit for our customers what Kinefinity is, what you guys are about, give them a little bit of an insight into the company because it's a, you're a very okay. new company for a lot of us here in the UK. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. what did, how did Kinefinity begin? Um, okay. Um, our I guess that is the co-founders, including me, and uh, we were working in an um, <coughs> astro camera maker, uh, okay. namely the QHYCCD.com, and still, yeah, they are still making astro cameras, including some other industry cameras. Mm. Um, and so, Cinema Camera is one of the projects in that company. So after two years uh, research and prototyping, we proved that can be a viable project. So. We spin out, found the company, and uh, founded the Kinefinite. And, uh, and that uh, Astro company also took some, hold, took some yeah, shareholder on the mm. Kinefinite too. Yeah. So that's the um, very beginning of the Kinefinite. So we have some experience on the camera makers too. Mm. So, okay. And, for, and how long ago okay. was that? When was that? Uh, when is that? It's uh, 2000, um, 2009. 2009. 2009 is a very the project beginning. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah the very beginning. Yeah. After two years, uh, two, uh, 2011, 2012, we split it off and uh, founded the Kinefinite. Mm. Yes. And for personally, I I major in electronic engineering and um, and um, master degrees and on the IC design. So I'm familiar with um, chip design, thermal sensor design, something like that. So would you class yourself as an engineer or? Um, yeah, I'm, I began with my career as an engineer. <laughs> as a, yeah, IC designs. So after a few years, um, my, <clears throat> my high school classmates also, yeah, I, I with him also uh, started in the best university in China, <laughs> mm. uh, engineering, and he invited me to help him to, uh, yeah, the business in the uh, uh, astro camera maker. So I, I joined that company and began, yeah, began the cinema camera project. Yeah. So if that was in 2009, <clears throat> let's fast forward now to 2018. What does <laughs> Kinefinity look like now? I mean, how many employees have you got? Yeah, actually we have two teams, roughly, mm -hmm. and one team in Beijing is um, 24, yeah, 24 employees. Yeah, we focus on the R&D and marketing and operating yeah, in Beijing. And we have another team in Shenzhen. Um, this is focused on the manufacturing and supplying okay. and uh, calibration things, uh, as all these manufacturing operation teams. Yeah, and uh, that group is increasing now. Is uh, close to 20, mm. but we think with our order more, <laughs> our, our production capability up, we will hire more workers and, um, and our line managers to make the, uh, make the production better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Growing fairly quickly, I guess. Um, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, yeah, because uh, depending on our product, I think, um, yeah, by very six years, we well, only feel people's, yeah, began, yeah to co-found the kind of village. So this year, I yeah, I think much better, okay. So what were the core sort of philosophies and concepts of Kinefinity when you started? I mean, what was the aim with it all? Um, yeah, it's, um, you know, Chinese um, yeah, is not very romantic nation. <laughs> but uh, since we started the project, since we started the cinema camera, I, I think the, the happiness, we often feel the happiness from our customers. Mm. You know, the, in this market, cinema makers like um, Ari with a very long history, mm. and the giant Sony, and uh, this giant in the broadcasting, and Red, they, they made a new era with the Red One 4K digital cinema camera. So all these competitors, also including Canon and Panasonic, they're, yeah, yeah. so they're, they're also giant or very rich company. So, um, you know, Kinfinity is, um, is, in this chance, is, uh, I think it's, um, it's a new entry 
right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, a, it's a new, small, exciting, <coughs> sort of yeah, independent yeah. company. Yes, we, yeah. we, but we like challenging. And, um, and uh, our customers also, you know, that um, uh, they, 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 they like the spirits. Mm. We, we yeah, I can say we're challenging someone or no, not that. We, we just want to try to bring in, um, as we can see, better tools or more affordable tools for filmmakers. What do yeah. you think are the biggest strengths? Why, why do people end up choosing Kinefinity? I mean, um, <laughs> I, I can tell you what jumped out to okay. me, for example, okay. Okay. right at the start, is, it was the size. Yep. I mean, they, okay. it, they are small cameras, and then you but, can rig it up as small but, or as big but, as you want. Okay, but, but at the very beginning, okay, our, our first generation mm. is a large one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's a large one. At that time, uh, large may means stability. If, yeah. if you make something too compact, it was oh oh it's, it's too compact it's too small. Yeah, that's it a toy might, camera. Yeah. yeah, it's a toy. Yeah, it's mm. with plastic or something like that. So our, our first generation is also bulking one. Um, but when we more customers and uh, more communication with our customer, potential customers, we found that uh, people, especially the indie filmmaker, yeah, in this past in, in the past years, we recognize ourselves. Yeah, we we trying to provide the best tools for indie filmmakers. Indie filmmakers, I think, is the most great group, no matter which country. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So and size can be so important because, because yeah. when you get bigger cameras, you've got to have more expensive support gear. You've got to yeah. have bigger gimbals. You've got to have bigger steady cams. Blah blah blah, in order to support and actually shoot with those cameras. Yeah, especially for you know, yeah, uh, for like UK, United States, mm. and as a human cost is very high. <laughs> In China, that's okay. We can <laughs> hire more assistant uh, to carry the cameras. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so for the uh, yeah, Europe and for yeah. the United States. We've got to carry the bags ourselves. Yeah, the cameras are <laughs> Definitely. Away. Yeah, yeah, so, so they need the cameras, um, uh, full-fledged but uh, compact one, and yeah. they can self-contain many things. So, so this is, uh, I think this is uh, also the trends for the uh, cinema cameras mm. is uh, accompanying this and also the wireless. Wireless makes the scenes simple too. Mm. Yeah. And um, and uh, yeah, maybe we we'll dab it from our <laughs> conversation, right? <laughs> and, and well, uh, it brings us on to a bit yeah, of the future. Yeah, I, I for love the, actually I love, I love the uh, uh, many customers as indie filmmakers. They they have ideas, they mm -hmm. have creative creative ideas, many creative ideas. And mm. uh, using our cameras they how can say they can easily to realize the ideas <laughs> from what I say. We, I, 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 I'm often touched by by their videos. Sometimes they, they share with us. Yeah, you've got, you've got a great, very active community. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. This, this, this is, um, I think this is a, a happy hour for us, <laughs> for us, for our team. Yeah, often show them, okay, hey, uh, for example, Michael, hey, look at, look at what the video they created by our tools. Mm. Well, so we, we feel proud on that. So mm. That's one of the motivation for us to uh, make better tools, keep innovation, and um, uh, make better things. Okay. So what do you reckon the future holds for Kinefinity? What, what, what are some of your aims going forward? Okay, uh, since now we launched three products, mm. Terra 4K and Marvel and Marvel LF. Mm -hmm. So one yeah, um, for our R&D, um, turning Marvel LF into production, into working to production, and uh, also then we have the very competitive three camera models. It's a great yeah. uh, sort of lineup of three cameras <clears throat> yes, with very lineup. distinct yeah. sort of differences. Yeah, distinct for the uh, yeah from entry level to yeah uh, flagship one. Mm. So we will. Focus on keep focus on these three models mm. to improve the uh, uh, firmware and uh, to make the people more easier easier to access uh, the, 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 the camera systems and uh, let them shoot them easily and uh, the functions are listed in our website so that yes some of them we have not finished yet <laughs> so we will keep working on that just yeah. constantly working on the cameras and yeah. making them more stable make it adding new features yeah, where you can yeah. all that sort of stuff yeah yes we'll yes. just make it a better Including platform some, maybe have some uh, um, new you know press raw something like yeah. that we are 
Yeah, we're connecting with Apple. We hope they can license us mm. yeah, sooner so that we can bring the new product to Marvel. Yeah, yeah it's a perfect yeah. fit, really, isn't it? Yeah, we'll try our mm. best. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you.